so nice to see that you've come in for your facial and your facial brushing relaxation session today. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I saw that you were in the books and you're right on time. That's so wonderful. Mm -hmm. The thing I, I really like about this facial is that it's something that's been kind of popular with um, both men and women. We've had a lot, surprisingly a lot of men have come in for this, so it's a nice balance and it seems as though everyone quite enjoys this little session. I know I do. If I can get someone else to do this for me, it's just wonderful. Um, so for our facial brushing, brushing session later, I've got a few different brushes. If you haven't noticed, I really like this color, blue, so if you can tell by my hair and whatnot. So this brush is a brush I like to use for foundation, but it's also just very, very soft, delicate, and oh, it, I don't even know how to describe the feeling, it just feels like a very soft brush running across your skin. Maybe it feels like getting a little kiss from a pixie. Something like that. But it's incredibly soft. So, I'm sure you'll love this brush. We have this poofy brush. It's, um, it's also quite nice. It's a little bit rougher, so I like to use it um, around the edges of my face, but it it does provide a nice, different texture, and I can argue that the color is wonderful. Yes, and finally there's this brush. It feels like, oh, just very soft velvet or something. It, uh, it's very nice, and it just feels wonderful when it's used on your face, your cheek your forehead, your chin, and on your neck a little bit, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's just get started with your facial. First, I would like to check your skin for any uh, areas that we might be able to help more than another, or an area that might need a bit of special attention. So, allow me to look at this cheek. It looks just fine. Um, I noticed that um, in your T-zone, your, your nose here, and up across your forehead here is just a bit oily, so we have something nice for that. And I also noticed that you have a, just the smallest little dry patch here on your cheek, so We'll use an exfoliant for that, and let me look just along your hairline. Uh -huh. It looks like you just have one tiny pimple right about here. Is that alright if I get that for you? Alright, it looks ready, so I'm just going to apply a small bit of pressure. Alright, that's clear and gone. That didn't hurt, did it? I didn't think so. Alright, so the first part is that I'd like to moisturize your face, or dampen it rather. So we have a warm washcloth for you. Alright, so I'm just going to brush this. down your nose, the corners of the nose, and over your forehead. Sides of the face. Alright. 
So the first thing I like to do after getting your face just a bit moist is to use baking soda, which may seem odd, but baking soda is actually one of the most wonderful exfoliants that there is. It's even better than those expensive products that you see advertised on television. Uh huh. So what I do is I just pour if <laughs> it will come out. I just pour a little bit in my hand. And then we dampen it. And then I make it into a light paste and we uh, apply it to the face. So I'm going to rub gently. And what baking soda does is that it's a nice natural exfoliant. And so it just helps get all those problem areas. Rub gently in the corner of your nose and up and down the bridge of the nose and down the other side. And I'm just going to continue rubbing your cheeks in downward circular motions down your face. Mm -hmm. And allow me to massage your cheeks with this paste and just along the chin here too. It's kind of funny, but a chin massage sometimes feels a little bit good, huh? And last but not least, let me get your forehead. When we rinse this off, I promise you'll feel just so refreshed. Your skin feels really clean. Yeah, and baking soda is actually... Unless you can't handle an exfoliant on your face, it's rather gentle. So, I'm just going to dampen this cloth again. Wring it off so it's not too wet. And just gently wipe the baking soda off of your face. Mmm. Doesn't that feel nice and cool? Mm -hmm. Down the bridge of your nose. Down the sides, just very, very gently under your eyes. This cheek and your temple. Under the chin and right here below your lips. Dab this just a bit on your forehead. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that feel fresh and clean now? The next thing that I like to use is my uh, tea tree water. This is a product from Lush and it serves as an astringent which should help close your pores a bit and make it harder for dirt and dust to enter. It is a pretty cute bottle, isn't it? Lush has a deal if you bring in five of their black plastic products, I believe. They'll give you a free face mask so they can recycle Alright, now, if you would just gently close your eyes, and I'm just going to spray this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, uh, it smells a little bit green to me. Um, the ingredients? Let's see. Tea tree water. 
grapefruit water, juniper berry water, and it has limonene as a perfume. And limonene is actually the chemical that gives lemon and lime its, uh, its taste and smell. It's the same chemical, but one is forward and one is One's the opposite and one's symmetrical, and because of that it gives a bit different smell. Alright, now finally, um, I have this moisturizer for your face. It's called Time Balm, and it's by The Balm. It uh, has some vanilla oil. It's a white tea vanilla oil absorbing face drill. <laughs> Pardon me. It's a vanilla oil absorbing face moisturizer. Don't we all trip on our words sometimes? Alright, so normally I just take one pump of this and Just smells lovely like vanilla. Can you smell it? Here, give that a smell. Mm -hmm. And then I just rub it, especially on my nose, my cheeks, and chin, and especially on my forehead. If you wash your T-zone where it's oily too much and you don't moisturize afterward, sometimes it can just make it a bit more yeah, it can make it a bit more oily than normal because your skin will try to overcompensate. Now, doesn't that feel nice? Here, I'll fan it. Mm -hmm. It's such a lovely feeling to have a very clean face. And now that we're done with that, um, I wanted to do your facial brushing relaxation session. So, as always, um, I'll have you breathe in and out slowly with me. Alright? So, um, breathe in. And out. And in. And out. And in one more. your eyes and kick back and relax for the rest of the session. You can feel free to take a nap or go to sleep. You're absolutely welcome to do that here. So let's get started. I'll start with this brush. It's a bit scratchier, but it's, it's nice. Alright, so here on this cheek, Stroke from the forehead down your chin. Across the forehead. Over your brows. Mm -hmm. 
to the next brush, which is this one. I like this one just gently on the very soft parts of my face. arch of your brow, under the orbital, and the same on the other side, up under the orbital, where you carry all that tension from your headaches, it's just all Use this just around my lips too, at the corner of your mouth. very luxurious brush. We can use it for the rest of the time. And remember, you're always free to take a nap here, to rest, to just let your mind wander, and to think of pleasant thoughts. We're here for you, we care about you, and we want you to feel so happy. here to take a nap. Alright, pushing your nose. Forehead. Just over your brows. Clean, beautiful skin. 